Todd Chrisley has gone through a few legitimate troubles over the past year. It has gotten to the point where he has at long last yielded on one of the claims he was included in. Chrisley has allegedly dropped in request he had recorded in a malignant claim. Here is what you wish to know around the claim Chrisley dropped and what it implies. Todd Chrisley drops maligning claim offer. Amid the introductory investigation, Todd Chrisley assaulted Office of Income investigator Amy Doherty Hines on social media and said the investigation was illicit and disgracefully motivated. Doherty Hines sued Chrisley for maligning. Like with most of his legitimate issues, Todd misplaced this claim. In April, the government judge found Chrisley blameworthy of one number of criticism and one number of criticize. The jury granted Doherty Hines compensatory harms of $350,000, also corrective harms of $170,000 and attorney's expenses, totaling around $755,000 in and general harms. Chrisley requested the decision. However, he has since deliberately dropped the offer. The dropping of the request is pursuant to the joint stipulation of the parties to dismiss. Whereas Todd has dropped his request against the Doherty Hines decision, Todd and Julie Chrisley are still engaging their conviction within the bank extortion and charge avoidance case. Todd and Julie Chrisley lose indeed more cash. Todd and Julie Chrisley, moreover fair, misplaced a $30,000 trust held in Alabama. A government judge requested that they turn over that cash to assist pay the $17 million judgment taking after their blameworthy decision. The judge said the couple seen react to the order, but when they didn't, he requested the cash to be turned over by the law firm. The Chrysleys were found blameworthy of committing assess avoidance and swindling banks out of over $30 million in loans. Julie was too found guilty of obstacle of equity and wire extortion. They were sentenced to 12 a long time, Todd, and 7 a long time, Julie, in jail. Todd is set to be released on November 23, 2032, and Julie on eminent 20, 2028. This can be too a long time early for Todd and 14 months prior for Julie. The Chrysler said that an inside income benefit officer lied on the witness stand almost how much cash the litigants owed the IRS at the time of their trial. Be that as it may, the government judge denied to hold a hearing on those charges. The couple's lawyer said they didn't owe any cash to the IRS at the time of the trial, but the income officer was told to lie on the stand. U.S. collaborator lawyer Annalise Dwindle said that, whether or not any charges were owed at the time of the trial was unimportant to any component to any charge in this case. What are your contemplations on Todd Chrisley dropping his appeal within the criticism case? Do you think there's any chance the Chrisleys will get out of jail before their sentence's conclusion? Let us know within the comments underneath.